Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and Samsung just pushed off its very first software update to the Galaxy S23 FE. Now this one is at the size of 347 megabytes and it gives you that November 1st patch. Now the Galaxy S23 FE is the latest device in the Galaxy lineup and I don't see this update pushed out just yet for my Galaxy S23 Ultra. Even though I'm on the beta program, it's on the very last of its update, I'm waiting for the official final push out of the last update that finalizes the One UI 6 here in the United States. So with this one getting the update for November 1st on this S23 FE, it gives me good indication that the Galaxy S23 series for the S23 the S23 Plus and the S23 Ultra should be being pushed out very soon, but they have that One UI 6 with Android 14 that they also have to finalize as well. So what we're going to do is we will download this, get it installed. We'll take a look to see if there's any newer versions of Samsung applications and services, and we'll also take a look at the Samsung mobile security page for the November update to see what all was updated, if any of them was critical, high, moderate, or low. So let's get this one installed, and I do want to state usually at this point in the video if you're new here at the channel Jimmy is promo you appreciate these tips tricks tutorials and the latest information on your Samsung Galaxy devices make sure you guys hit that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications to get notified for all future videos so the update is done and complete so how about we just for fun take a look at a few different applications so first off let's take a look inside of the camera now before this update this version was 13.1.0.1.21 Looks like the same one here, 13.1.0.1.21. Let's take a look at Samsung Home. Now, this one originally before the update was at 14.1.0.3.5.9. Looks like 14.1.0.3.5.9, so no new versions there. Let's take a look at the gallery. Now, this one originally before the update was at 14.5.0.1.3. So looks like 14.5.0.1.3, so same version there. And then for the last one, let's take a look at Samsung Internet. Now, there's no guarantee that there's always brand new versions every single month, but if there is, I usually like to find them. Now, the version for this one before the update was 230047. Looks as if the exact same version right here, 230047. Now, for the very first update, looks as if there's no newer versions of applications. It also looks like that there's really no brand new features either. But now let's take a look inside of the Samsung mobile security page. So this way we can see what is new for November. So this is my first time seeing the November update for any of the Samsung stuff, just because my Galaxy S23 Ultra didn't get it just yet. Now, when it comes down to the Google side of things, for critical, it looks as if there's one, two, three, four, five updates that were critical. This, when you usually see this many, there's usually around like 50, 60 different updates. So 50 or 60 of them were high, zero of them were moderate. Now down over here, this is gonna be dealing with the Samsung side of the vulnerabilities. So it looks as if we have one with a high severity. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So there's 13 updates on the Samsung side of things. And it looks as if every single one of these have a severity of high. Uh, it looks as if we do have one that was moderate, 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 high, high. And you can actually read through some of these to see what they're actually maybe even talking about. So improper input validation with USB gadget interface. So basically they're just, if you plug in something maybe into a laptop or whatever, there was a little bit of a vulnerability. It looks as if this one was a severity of high and it was fixed. So yeah, there's not too much going on with this update other than just the Google and Samsung side of things behind the scenes that you don't really see physically on the phone when you're you know playing around with it. So that was everything that comes with this update here. It also gives you a little bit of details of what you'll also see with some of the other Samsung Galaxy devices out there. Take a look at that November security patch update. Now, because the FE got this update, that means that hopefully the rest of the S23 lineup will see this update as well, just because I think it's taken longer because those ones are also including the Samsung One UI 6 with Android 14 being a part of it since they have already finished the beta program with that. So hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.